What's going on you guys, it's Kevin Becky with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the best holds of February 2021. For those who don't know me or are new to the channel, my name is Kevin, I'm a part-time, soon to be full-time reseller, and I make uh, packaging videos, sourcing videos, as well as these types of videos where I go over my, my top 10 sales of the month. If you guys are interested in any of this type of content, feel free to subscribe and like, it greatly helps out the channel, puts my video out there so other people can see it, and yeah, let's get into the sales. We're gonna be going from the number 10 all the way up to number one. And um, in this video, we're gonna have an honorable mention or honorable return because somebody returned a really great sale that I had. Ooh. And no worries, I understand. It's just a part of business. Nothing, nothing. I don't have anything against returns unless I get scammed or something. But other than that, I only lose $8 for shipping and that's, that's okay for me because that's part of my business model. I do free shipping on eBay. Starting off with the 10th best sale of the month were some Adidas Parley Soul Court uh, tennis shoes that I picked up at Burlington for $32.40. And that's with tax included. So I'm gonna be telling you guys the price, tax included, how much I sold it for, probably the fees sometimes, and the profit that I made. So that's how we're gonna go on with this video. And yeah, sorry, I didn't pay $32.40. I paid $29.16 for these shoes because they were a little dirty and um, they gave me 10% off uh, when I asked, but it was a final sale, so they sold, I didn't have to return them, which I wasn't even gonna return them either way, but I paid $29.16 for them. I sold them on gold for $100. The gold fees were $14.50, and I walk away with $56.34 in profit, which is great. Goat, you don't have to do a lot of work, you just gotta print out the shipping label, confirm it, and take it to UPS. Great little sale there. On to number nine, we have some Air Max 270s. We picked these Air Max 270s up for $48.76 at Ross. We sold them for $120 on eBay. Comps for like around 100 and around the 120 range. So I listed high and it sold within two days. If you guys have seen my sourcing video, a couple videos back, you guys saw that they sold in two days or something like that, which is great. Shipping was $11.43 and I walk away with $59.97 in profit. And this is net profit, by the way. After, after taking away shipping, the cost of goods, and any other fees associated with the sale. So that's the profit that I'm telling you guys. Sorry, I should have disclosed it in the beginning. The eighth best sold of this month were some Nike Stefan Janowski golf shoes. Um, there were some white. Um, they were like beige or white at the top and they had a gum bottom. Um, they were spikeless, so they had like some weird little ridges going on. We paid $27 for those at Burlington. We sold them on Mercari for $100, and we walk away with $59.79 in profit. So the shipping was $8.42. I paid via pirate ship, and the shipping, I mean the fees for Mercari were $14.49. If this sale was on eBay, I wouldn't have been charged the fees, but it's whatever. That's why I prefer selling um, shoes over $100 on eBay. Not Poshmark, because they take 20%. Or my card because they take like 13% and then I have to pay for shipping. The seventh bit sold of this month were some were some Nike Air More Up Tempos that I picked up at Ross. These were B grade shoes. They were pretty cool. They were $35.64. I sold them for $110 on eBay, so you know, get the no fees. Shipping was $9.36 and I walk away with $65 even in profit, which is another great sale. I'm surprised these sold for so much. They were B grade, but they weren't. I didn't see any noticeable like defects or anything on them. I think maybe the swoosh in the back was a little misplaced or something like that, if I remember correctly. But they sold in about a, they took about one month to sell, and it was a pretty cool flip. On to the next best flip of the month were some Nike Hypervenom Elite Cleat. We picked these cleats up for $32.40 at Burlington. We sold them for $125 on Posh, and Posh took a hefty fee of $25. So if it was eBay, there would have been no fees, but you know, it's it's all good. I made $67.60 off of that sale, which is still great money. So I'm not complaining. I just would have liked to move those on eBay. The sixth best sell of this month, some Nike Vapor um, tennis shoes. I picked these up at Ross in the like a couple months ago for $43.20. I sold these for $125 on eBay. They went to go get authenticated. Uh, I paid $9.36 for shipping. And I walk away with a profit of $72.41, which is insane. I wanted to keep those shoes for the personal, not gonna lie, but I don't really play tennis like that anymore. I, although I am starting to go play almost every week with Antonio. I'm putting up his Instagram somewhere here. He's another reseller. Really great dude, really cool dude. If you guys are interested, 
and you know just finds and you know sells he posts th that type of content on his instagram so go ahead and follow him if you want the next flip was a bundle sale for some nike roshi g punch shoes that i picked up in the summer um last year uh we picked those up for 2160 and then we uh in the bundle pair we sold some nike victory golf shoes as well that i picked those up at for 20 dollars at burlington so total was 42 20 for the two pairs of shoes we sold the bundle for 150 on poshmark poshmark took 30 dollars in fees and the profit was 76 dollars and 30 cents the fourth best flip of february was some nike mercurial superfly elite cleats that i picked up at burlington for 32 dollars and 40 cents I picked these up in a lot. There were like 10 cleats. They were all different. They were like the Phantom GT, the pink and white ones that um, were coming up uh, like in around January, beginning of February. Those um, Mercurials. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, there was like 10 cleats. Uh, I think that was one of my best Burlington finds ever. And I'm moving these cleats for good profit. So gotta love it. But I sold these for 170 on GOAT. Uh, GOAT took a fee of $25.62 and I walk away with $111.98, which is insane. Just crazy for a shoe that I picked up for $32.40. And the second best sold February was some Nike, some Air Max 98 golf shoes that I picked up at the Nike outlet. I picked, the, I picked up the shoes for $81.65. It was when the sale was like, when you buy like four pairs of shoes, you get 30% off and they had 20% off on the hash wall, which was great. I don't know if they would have added a 20% discount code at that time I didn't know about the code so I didn't buy one probably should have but I picked those up for yeah $81.65 I sold them for $225 on GOAT and the GOAT fee was $26.38 and the profit was a fat $116.97 after a while you get kind of used to it but it's still just insane those shoes I did pay a little bit more for but I sold them in around a month or so which is great and then the top flip of February 2021 were some Nike Kobe ADs that I picked up at Ross. I picked these bad boys up for $54. Uh, I sold them on eBay for $250. For shipping, I had to pay $8.59. eBay takes no fee. Gotta love eBay's no fee over $100 athletic shoes. But profit on those was $187.41, which you gotta love. Like Those sold within, like I think, a month and a half when I picked them up people were letting them go for like uh, 200 probably like I think that was a, the the lowest that I saw people letting them go for 200 to 225 some had like huge sizes up when I first looked them up there were only like huge sizes for the black Kobe ADs they were like size 17 18 you know stuff like that and then I had a reasonable size size 10 and a half and it's old so yeah that's crazy that's the top 10 sales of February 2021. The honorable return that I wanted to mention were some, some Nike Romaleo 4s, the camel ones that a lot of people have been picking up at Ross for $40. Um, I picked these up for $43.20 at Ross, sold them for $190 on eBay, took a best offer. I had them listed for like $200. The size was a size 5 uh, men's and it was like 6.5 women, something like that. They were authenticated and everything. The buyer got them, didn't fit her. So she returned them. But the profit that I would have got on them bad boys was $137.44, which would have been the second best sold of this month. But they were returned, so I didn't want to include them. That's why they are an honorable return or an honorable mention, whatever. So yeah, cool little sales month for February. My reselling game is slowly, is improving slowly, but surely long-term scaling. You know, that's just the plan. Keep the business growing, keep yourself growing. And you know living life man so that's gonna conclude this video tell me what you guys think of the flips down below if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and like it as well as subscribing to the channel it helps me out a lot more than you know i appreciate you for watching to the very end i hope you have a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this and i'll see you in my next video no, no, boy. Yeah.